going on. I have a bunch of stuff that I've been saving ever since I was a kid. And um, I just sorted through them. This is from my family and one particular friend. And this is from my grandparents, cards and letters. And letters from my friends back when I was in high school and around when I was 21, probably to 25. And then that's just stuff that it's um, friends and family that we've known along the way. And in that bag is just my aunt and uncle's cards, mostly from the last five years. And that pile is all letters and cards from people from my various churches. So, um, I've been sitting here for a while. I have been looking and looking and looking for this newspaper clipping from 1997 when I got in a car accident. And it was pretty bad. I should have gone, you know, to the hospital and the ambulance, but I didn't. I just thought that I would it's going to be okay, but the more I sat there, the more painful <laughs> my leg got. And so I had a pretty traumatic experience at that age, and I wanted to show the clipping because we were hit. Me and my friends were hit by a drunk driver, and somehow this drunk driver hit us, hit a different car, and that car that he hit came back and bounced off of us again. So we got hit twice. I believe that's how the story went. But I cannot for the life of me find that newspaper, that clipping. Maybe my mom has it. I don't know. I tried to go online, but nobody has archives past 2000. So, but I was telling you a story about how I got out of my mom's house and I wrote the first lady, Mrs. Laura Bush, many years ago. And that I, in fact, do have a letter. And I did find that letter today. And do, would you like to see it? I'm not sure if the letter is in there, but, but the card is here. It's pretty cool. Whoever gets one of these. And that's my old address. A while ago. Let's see if we can get the date. 10th of January, 2003, I believe it was. The White House. If that's not pretty cool already, then there's also something inside. Hold on. I'm trying to do it so you know that it's, it's accurate and it's not. Okay. On behalf of Mrs. Bush, I would like to thank you for your letter. I have shared your information with the appropriate members of the White House staff who work with the agency that has jurisdiction over your issue. The agency will be in touch with you directly. Mrs. Bush appreciates your taking the time to write in hopes that Circumstances you face will be resolved soon. Sincerely, Sydney R. Johnson, Director of Correspondence for Mrs. Bush. <laughs> and that is not the coolest thing you've ever seen from a simpleton like me. I don't know what is. That's pretty cool. I don't think they would do that this day and age. Could you imagine? Dear Mrs. Williams, or Miss Williams, this is President, the correspondence from Mr. President Trump. They would never do that this day and age. I don't think they would, but. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so hold on, let me put that back in there and let me just tuck it away somewhere. So I didn't find the newspaper clipping, but I did find 
the uh, the White House. There. <laughs> then when I was about 25, 26, I was doing um, Christian's Children's Fund. And I was writing to a family in Ecuador every month. And with my monthly check or my monthly bank deposit, a little 10-month-old boy named Kevin, I was helping out. And I did that for almost a year, and then I almost got married. Yep, I was wanting to get married so bad, so I never had to live in my mother's house again. And, um, that's obviously after, um, after, no, that was before the White House incident. That was before, so because when I got back there, I just had some issues and I needed to get out. But this bag right here is the letters from my childhood and my grandparents. We have a card sticking out right here. Thinking of you, granddaughter, on your birthday. This is from my grandpa. My grandma must have passed on. Because my grandmother always wrote the cards. Let me see if I can find a card from both of them. Looks like it was from my, from my grandfather. Oh. I planned to buy you a nice birthday present, but I was afraid I did. I'd get you something you wouldn't like, so I thought of something that I'd like. But then I panicked because I thought you might not like it as much as I did. <laughs> so I kept it. <laughs> Anyway, but isn't money fun? Oh, yeah. I think that's what my grandma said. I know my grandfather said that. And love to our lovable granddaughter, grandmother and grandfather. I miss them so much. It's funny how... I'm going through all this stuff tonight, and it's just nostalgia hits me right in the face, you know. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're looking at my underwear on the floor. That's that's really nice. I got a diaper there, and I got my underwear on the other side. Well, I can't go back and make the video again, so. Um, yeah. Who is this from? I thought I have cards like this from my friends from, from this is like 20 years ago. And um, I want to talk to y'all about something called Trace Dias. If you are in a church regularly and you have never been to Trace Dias and you are looking for that next step with the Lord or you are looking for a more, um, deeper connection, which we always are, I really encourage you to check out something called Tracedius, um, called De Caloris. And um, I went there. It's a one in a, it's once in a lifetime. It really is just a once in a lifetime thing. And after you've gone as a guest, then you can go back and help as, um, as somebody who, who's already been through that. Um, I went through that, and the reason why I can't go back and help right now is because I never really finished, because I don't have a car to finish it. Um, but once I do, once I, the Lord has his, his things for my life, once that happens, then I think I'm going to get back into it again. It is just a community of Christian people 
lifting you up and just it, it you it's just indescribable. It really is. Um, so if anybody wants to hear about Trace Diaz that is going to church, that uh, even if you're not going to church, that if you have a, a family, a community around you, um, a really deep relationship with the Lord, and you're yearning for more, let me know. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. But so that's it. I love y'all. And I'm just going to show you one more thing and then I go. But I never did find that newspaper clipping. Would y'all like to see what I looked like when I was 20 years old? When I was 19 years old. Yep. That was me. That's not surprising, is it? It's... I have very deep, fat dimples. <laughs> Big, huge, chubby cheeks with rosacea. I didn't have rosacea back then, either that, or I had a really good makeup. And my hair with bangs, with bangs. And you could see I had like a cowlick here and like a cowlick over there. It was, it was messed up. Hopefully I have improved over the years. I'm not sure about that, though. Love you lots. Talk to you soon. Good night, all. Bye, guys. Yep. Oh, and the nickname that I was in high school was Care Bear because I was the oldest and I was like the mama of the group. So that was a little bit more information about me. Night, y'all.